checking out some more TikTok pranks. This dude was at Lowe's, got a bucket, and watch. Pops it on this dude's head, takes his hat, runs into the next aisle, takes his jacket off. And while well, this dude is looking around like, hey yo, who did that? Where did he go? Oh, he took off his jacket and put a bucket on his head. What in the world? I'm not going Shoot. crazy, I swear. What the world? Did someone just put a bucket on your head yeah. too? Bro, where did he go? <laughs> we're, we're fine. <gasps> the nerve of him to do it a second time, bro. I thought the first time it was already like, no way this is gonna work. The way he Uno reverse card, like he put a bucket on his own head, like who did it? Who could it be? When I tell you this was slick. Oh man, that was my favorite thing to do as a kid. Like, pop those bad boys in the fridge, take them out when they are ice cold, and then just <laughs> down them. M&Ms, they shake. Y'all don't shake the thing and be like, where the M&Ms? No M&Ms, just absolutely foul. There was a violation. Pranking Mexican mom. Oh, this is terrifying. You can't do this. He put a mirror on her bed, so when she wake up. <laughs> yeah, I be terrified too like there was no mirror there like why am i looking at myself when i woke up mom chill you ain't even that ugly he almost caught me bruh <laughs> oh, i almost found my soul leave my body ascend what did he do did he just like kick the shower curtain <laughs> terrified of these you know every time I go to my friend's house they got one in their bathroom I always got to check behind it just in case you never know what be chilling behind there like especially if you got siblings zero trust texting my boyfriend she's busy bro to see his reaction oh my god bro what the heck he's crazy oh no bro he drives a 370z oh my god no <laughs> <laughs> he came here to fight <laughs> Shirt off! That's all it takes, three words. To get your BF or GF to come over. I ain't talking about no one's home. I'm talking about she's busy, bro. I guess she don't like her orange juice sunny side up. I ain't never getting my vitamin C again after this. So I put talcum powder in my wife's hair dryer for April Fool's Day. <laughs> she don't even know what happened. <laughs> I you that baby powder? <laughs> Smell kind of good. The way it just came out. Top tier prank. As long as you didn't get a mouthful of it. My husband told me to stop online shopping. So I've been saving boxes and tonight he's coming home to this. I told him I bought the baby some things. I had to buy some stuff for the baby's room. Some stuff. Yeah, the baby needed some things. Just some things. Some things. Yeah, she needed some things. The right, the perfect moment, UPS guy shows up. Uh, yeah, uh, we, I'm going back to work. This was quite crafty, you know? All the packages I've been saving for the past few months have somehow reappeared at my doorstep. How much would everything on both menus be? Or one of everything? What do you mean? Like one of everything. $500 million, dude. Half the taxes. $500 yeah, million. All right. Seriously, you just buy heck, one of everything. That's about what it will be. Okay, um, can I get... A large ice water. I mean, what did you expect? Oh man, he said one of everything's gonna be 500 million dollars? Like, clearly cannot afford this place. I think we'll just go with a large ice water. Thank you. That backfired. So I saw someone on TikTok stuff a cutie with chocolate and blindfold their boyfriend, so I'm doing it to Vincent. All right, Vincent, wrap this around your head. Mm -mm. Yes. Nope. Do it. He said right, no, ready? and then still ended Stick up doing it. Here. Vincent, what do you mean? Stick your finger here. Oh no. This is foul. Just stick it in. What is that? Ah, I can't even imagine that? how. Oh no, she brought the dog. She put the dog there. There's no way. There's no way. You're stupid, bro. What the <laughs> f wrong with you? You know it's bad when he called his girlfriend, bro. What am I doing with this on my head? Don't let me eat it. I don't know. Maybe you should smell it. Or is that weird? Usually when there's something on my finger that I don't know what it is, the first instinct I have is to smell. And the scent of Nutella is quite distinctive. <laughs> it took our manager just a second. She ain't fall for it though. So this dude pretended he was hiding someone in the closet. So as soon as his girlfriend walked in, he was just like. Don't even, who the is here? Don't, don't go there. Don't. 
Oh, I hate you. Hmm, interesting. So, um, if you actually have somebody that you're hiding in the closet, just set up your phone like you're recording a prank. Suddenly, she forgot all about checking the closet. This dude literally annihilates his girlfriend on FaceTime. I took a screenshot of us. You down? It's gonna be for memories. So, hold on. So, make like a funny pose or whatever. All right, tell me when you're ready. Ready. All right, ready, set. He's that funny. All right, bet. Hold on. Let me look at the photo and see how it came out. Not cute. Send it to me. All right, babe, I got you. Oh, the photo looks really good. You want to see it? Mm -hmm. I got you. Hold on. So he sends her a screenshot of the whole page, right? And her name in his contacts is Mega right, Mind. Got it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I know. <laughs> Why is my name Mega Mind? <laughs> what are you talking about? That nervous my, laughter. My contact name. Why is it Mega Mind? What do you mean? <laughs> Bless her soul, she's getting concerned. Ah! Girl, that's why I got the hat. Uh, no more girlfriend? This dude used a speaker to pretend he was in the other room, right? And sneaks up on his girlfriend like. Hey. And she's like, wait, he's in the other room. <laughs> then who is behind me? That's scary, bro. Y'all can't be playing games like that. So she went on random people's live on Instagram and told them she lived next door to them. Uh, next door to you. Yeah. Okay, then come inside. Come inside then then. Like, is this an invitation or a challenge? This dude like, always looking to make new friends? I live next door to you. Ah! To who? To who? They're like, nah, how did you know? How did you find me, bro? You know, my neighbor's family see me on your For You page. Keep scrolling. Mind your business. Someone in here is possessed by an owl. Hey. Hey, mom. Someone what? in here is possessed by an owl. What are you talking about? Someone in here is possessed by an owl. Who? <laughs> Bro, you took a couple years off their lifespan doing that. Who? Bring a stuffed animal to a groomer? All right. Can I just get my dog groomed, please? Oh my god, you want that one groomed? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> She really said, I don't think so. Sir, are you aware that is a stuffed animal? We only groom animals stuffed with organs. Convincing my fiance that it is Christmas to trip him out. There is no way this could work. But look at the amount of effort she put in this. She decorated the whole entire house. Some of y'all really take advantage of your days off. Changing his lock screen to oh, say it is December 25th. That's smart. That's smart. I'm getting worried about you. Huh? Like, bro, what do you mean it's Christmas? Hey. It's Merry Christmas, bro. Where are you going? I'm going to my mom, so. Bye, have fun. <laughs> Even the roommate. Dinner's on me. The roommate is in on it, and he really questioned himself, like, bro, we're in May. Christmas was months ago. Like, wh wh what do you do? Like, no? Phone screen says it's December 25th, so it is December 25th. It's Christmas. We open in presents. So there's this filter on TikTok when you like record outside. You see this in the sky. Some shenanigans about this is what the naked eye can't see. Watch my dad's reaction to this video after we told him it was real. Are you guys seeing what's going on outside? Outside here? Yes. She recorded it from my bedroom window. He said, is this outside? He goes outside. Daddy, you see what I'm talking about? Daddy, do you see what I'm talking about? I see eyes, the cloud. Daddy, look. The purple circle. I can't see that one. You don't Daddy, see what you circle, showed right me. There. The purple. See me, Daddy, are you serious right now? You're so the cloud, yeah. Daddy, stop playing around. <laughs> like, do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> so you see it? Yes. He see what? The purple circle, you see it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all really convinced him that this filter was real. He ain't got TikTok. He doesn't know any better. Hello? Hey dad, it's me. Hey princess, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, stressed. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to talk to you about something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I just decided that college just isn't for me and I'm dropping out and I'm starting an OnlyFans and I don't care what you say. What? What? Dad, what? I, I'm thick, what? I'm thick. I'm thick, the lights will be kept on, I promise. Yes. Ma'am, first of all, your father, the last person who cares if you thick or not. My dad would tell me, yeah, you thick all right. Thick in the head, that means stupid. Poor guy, he already at work, he already stressed. I'm just trying to feed my family while my daughter trying to feed the Sims. 
Mmm, the good old Nutella prank. One hand goes into the Nutella, so it looked like he did a free wipe. No toilet paper. He asks his mom to come bring him some toilet paper. She gives it to him, and then he just all over her hand. And the roll. This is the guy also! Literally beat the phone out of his hand. I can't believe he was doing this in a Walmart. <gasps> did you see what that teddy bear just did? He got some pretty good aim. Only Walmart. People get knocked on the head with a ball of yarn. Oh, oh nobody suspected a thing. You know, that's honestly perfect. You dress up as a bear and hide with stuffed animals. Who's gonna notice? It actually looks like it would be so much fun. My voice, what do you think I look like? Like a white dude? Yeah, what else? Um, maybe a black dude. Okay. Yo, what the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was imagining, but it wasn't that. I am impressed. Replacing chapstick with lipstick prank on my husband. Oh, that looks convincing. They even got the red one, too. Oh, your lips are dry. Let me get some chapstick. What? All right, you're good to go now. All right, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> he didn't even check. Just 100% trust in my wife that she will moisturize my lips. All right, you're good to go now. All right, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> you know, I wonder how long he walked around that day before somebody told him you got a little some. <laughs> Pranking my mortuary staff. That is terrifying. Literally traumatizing. They thought they were transporting a dead body. Nothing possibly could go wrong. And then they just <laughs> rise from the dead. Somebody quit that day. Double tap them next time. Make sure they actually dead. Yo, I wonder how much cotton candy I could dissolve in a bowl of water. <laughs> how many times are you gonna scare this guy? You're gonna scare the head off of his head. <laughs> That's exactly what he did, just... Everyone knows that one person that's just way too easy to jump scare. This is the worst kind of terrorizing. Somebody that constantly jump screams you. You know, in every gas station, they got two-way fridges. Because they restock them from the back. That means there is a room where people can hide. And make your beverages speak. Bro really looked at his drink like... It's almost like it's trying to communicate with me. Oh no, it's been out of the fridge for exactly five seconds. Undrinkable. Here you go, right here. Yeah, don't worry about it. I've been here yeah. for years. It's been two, three to get it's all right. this I'm gonna get together. a couple fries. Mm -hmm. Really? So instead of delivering her food to her, he starts eating it. Like, oh, you're not gonna give me a tip? I'll just tip myself with a few fries. Not a bad deal. Man, it's your bad deal. I'm glad we I've been up Oh, she was about to fight him. Oh, if those were my fries. That'd be a different story. Honestly, what would you do? Somebody deliver you a pizza. Oh wait, hold on. Let me grab a slice real quick. Sir, if you do not pull out another slice from your pocket, or John Quinones doesn't show up in the next three seconds, we won't have a problem. I would have gave them some if they asked, but just taking them and just, no, it's the fact that they're touching my food. That irks me. Just four pieces of bacon. It's not that impactful. Well, that's fine. I just buy it like individually. Okay, so what's the price? How does 25 cents a piece sound? There uh, is no barcode now. No, what do you think is fair? No, no, there is no barcode. How could I detect? What's this? Bacon. Um, where did you get it from? The packs come in eight and I just like wanted four, you know? Uh, show me where you got it from. You can't just rip open a pack of bacon and be like, well, this is too much. I just want four slices. Pop them on the conveyor belt. Be like, I'll only buy these four slices. Yeah, if I wanted to sample two Doritos. You say, and I could open the bag and y'all could charge me like three cents a chip. I wish life worked like this, but it doesn't. I'm just messing with you. I bought it earlier. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. Oh, it's a joke. So you bought bacon, just to, like slap it on the conveyor belt. You know, joke's on you. you. Try to pay for it twice. Personally, I would not be bagging that up. Putting Mentos in my parents' ice cube. What's this gonna do? Oh, unless they use their ice cubes to drink Coke. Oh, you can't even see them. Okay, first of all, what kind of animal puts Coke in their Hydro Flask? That's for water. Okay, you know, whatever's gonna happen to you, you probably deserve it. Mm -hmm. 
Eh, it fizzed a little bit. I was expecting a full on explosion like cap to like bust off. And no way you didn't see that. Nah, there's something out there. Oh. That is so terrifying. You know, I always thought having a window in my kitchen would be so nice. Does somebody want to put on a Momo mask and jump scare me? Absolutely not. They left the car unlocked, so I taught him a I lesson. I have to go. Oh no, you didn't. He sat in the back. It could get tragic. New pattern. <laughs> oh, that would be terrifying. Like imagine just hopping into a random unlocked car. That's one way to teach somebody a lesson. Like I'm a double triple check that my car beeps before I leave. Eating my hand for my husband's reaction. You guessed Please it, tell me that's it's cake. cake. Oh, that's cake, definitely. I'm going to watch a cannibalism documentary to really play it up. What? Girl, what are you watching? It's cannibalism show basically like Isabel documentary. Like, right to permission to capture <laughs> Where's where's the hand? Pull out the hand. I want to see you take a bite. Oh, she just started oh. eating. No, you next. That's a snack. What about when she actually hungry? You know, munch it on your own paws. That's like dog behavior. <gasps> Why'd you do that to poor grandma? Oh, it's one of them trick glasses. It looks like it's filled with liquid, but the liquid is just around the rim. Oh, grandma's gonna try it out, but she doesn't know there's water in it. <laughs> Hit her. <laughs> no, I'm him in the face. Oh, he dodged it. I'm surprised. That's gonna hit. It's gonna hit somebody in the face. Oh, I mean, oh no! That's one way to do your sit ups. Should have let him do his sit ups. He got a head full of flour and smacked by the water bottle. You got double tap for real. Bro really set up a toilet in the middle of an elevator. I'm coming with you. How are you? <laughs> what a horrible place to take a dump. You've read this book, The Social Struggle? No, I know he ain't actually doing it because he's still got his undies on. Is that you? No, it's not me. I'm just having a degree. Yeah, I would not be getting in. We taking the stairs. Imagine if somebody was actually on the toilet in an elevator. Do you have any idea how? Quickly, it would stink up the entire elevator. Hey! Go ahead, do it to him. <laughs> Dude is four parallel universes ahead. He planned this. Step one, squeeze her drink. And then when she goes to squeeze your drink, got him. He gonna be sleeping on the couch for a week. My friend went to the bathroom. Oh, with a backpack like that, it definitely looks like you're stealing. Oh, the receptionist knows. I didn't steal nothing. Here, I'll prove it to you. Prove it! Open your backpack! What you got inside there? Oh, at least he's honest, man. I would have been like, I didn't steal anything and just kept walking. <gasps> oh! What you stealing baby clothes for? I would have been so embarrassed. Nah, whenever I start beeping, I just walk out. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. I know I'm not a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put on her face? She thought she was washing her face. Did you just like pour ink in her hand as she was washing her face? Hey, that's messed up. How's she gonna get that off? She gonna get canceled too. I really hope she did something horrible. <laughs> Turn around, the grudge is right there. <gasps> he nudged him! Why, bro, turn around! Literally, like, somebody pushing you? Ooh, the wind is a little touchy today. I feel like he didn't even look at his face. He caught a glimpse of him. <laughs> bro, thought he was a demon for real. I feel like things aren't just not as scary during the day. Everybody knows, monsters can't legally hurt you when the sun's out. But at night, it's a different story. Bush 
is a lie. That was a good one. I feel like stuff like this is gonna cause permanent trauma. Like you ain't never gonna trust another bush again. Like you see this one move? <gasps> I grabbed him too. At least he was a good sport about it. I would've kicked it. What's up, man? Oh, he didn't even notice. He was, who, who'd be talking to me? It's the tree. What's up? <laughs> who said that? Hey, you. You looked him straight in the eyes! Which actually leaves. What's up, man? Yeah, I would be so confused, like, who said that? Th it's a tree. What's up? <laughs> you looked him straight, like, oh, dang, they're so friendly here. And the tree say hi to you. <laughs> this dude's son is gonna pull off his fake finger. <laughs> I, think I got another one. Pull Just wait for it. Hurry. Test all of these first. <laughs> pull it harder. Where's where's the fake finger? They ain't coming off. Uh, it must be pull real. It, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. <laughs> oh, you pulled it off. <laughs> that kid gonna be talking about that in therapy. I ain't never pulling another finger again. Like I pulled it off and it actually came off. Scaring my partner with items around the house. Dang, that was pretty good. I was like, that is not convincing if you leave that in a room. That ain't gonna scare nobody. Oh, but she got it on a string. <laughs> she got him good. Uh, can we appreciate how convenient it was that she waited for him to die before she put the spider on? But can your gaming chair do this? Sir, you are a menace to society and the reason that I can't peacefully fall asleep in a public place. He took bread, just started stacking it on this random dude sleeping. Bread hat. Oh, how many slices did it take? <laughs> he really grabbed it like, oh, where did all this bread come from? A gift has fallen from the heavens until the seagulls start attacking you. There is no way you can get that egg through there. Uh-uh, no. There is no amount of magic will get that egg through that hole. It's simply too large. Uh, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake! Bless her, she was so intrigued. Like, yay, magic! We're gonna learn a magic trick today. The only thing that got tricked was her. I asked my clients to close their eyes. They trust me too much. He's spraying air all the... <laughs> was that W40? Oh, what is this? <laughs> that lips is weak, boy. I can literally blow them open. She got a remote controlled snake to scare her husband. And look, who the. That is very convincing. That's scary. I didn't even know such a device existed. You see it slithering 20 miles per hour and it ain't even got a rope or anything. Is this a kid's toy? Y'all gotta put a warning on this. Warning may cause cardiac arrest, heart palpitations, and or death for kids six and older. Here, I muted my girl real quick. I'm in big trouble. I left I left the dog at the house and I told her that I brought the dog with me. Can you please bark before oh, I get God. in trouble? Here, here. Hey, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm here right now. The she dog's with me. So oh! Oh! He's with me. I'm not even kidding. Oh! Hey, hush, Popper, hush. Yeah, no, baby. He's fine. Yeah, all right, I'll see you later. Okay, I love you. All right, bye. All right, thanks, <laughs> any questions he was just like yeah man i got you that's a real one not even like what kind of bark is it we talking about like a chihuahua like a or like a woo that's the one i do as strangers so people think i'm insane and don't talk to me time to prank my co-workers oh so if you've ever made coffee with one of these machines before that thing is a leftover coffee grind it's just moist coffee and they dressed it all up made it look like a fancy dessert and so when she takes a bite oh it's just straight up coffee bro no amount of chocolate syrup will disguise the taste jokes on you i would have ate the whole thing you swallow that you're gonna be cracked out the rest of the week we ain't sleeping i've been seeing this prank a lot where you take a straw and bend it oh is she spitting in it i think she's spitting it she put warm orange juice in it so he oh. that is disgusting <laughs> oh uh-oh. Well, that escalated quickly, which is where it's getting spit on. We're getting drink dunked on. This is absolutely genius. Testing my fiance to see if he's honest about my cooking. She took a spoonful of salt and just a little bit of soup. What is that, broccoli soup? Baby, can you try this? That face looked very honest to me. Are oh, you just gonna spit it out? Okay, you know what? It's better than like, yes, baby, tastes great. You fake for that. You know, if you don't tell somebody that their cooking is bad, they will never improve. And people who cook take criticism. 
Okay, this is horrible. They put a doll head on a stick. I put it up to her window. came straight from the gut. Like when they put it up. Hello, it's me, your widow friend. <laughs> yeah, I would've ruined my whole night. I can't even imagine what I would do. Like, as the neighbors is calling the cops scream. <laughs> Testing to see who's my mom's favorite child. So they put a balloon in her hoodie. <laughs> that is quite convincing. Dude, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Please stop making noise, Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That, please. Go away! child is now. Did you pop her? No. You're laughing. I'm talking about you're laughing. <laughs> she really stayed down the whole time. Once you pop, you drop. Personally, I think she loves both of them equally. Because if she was the favorite, they both would have been on the ground. What you need? Look at Emerson. <gasps> Emerson! Oh my gosh, so cute! Oh. Oh. I've seen a lot of people do this with their dog, where it looks like the balloons are lifting them up. Nah, they're too heavy for that. So the trick is to do it alongside a door frame and hide the hands. <laughs> she really thought her baby was flying away. She gonna be stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> this dude decided to do an acupuncture on his baby prank. I don't think that needles. you're supposed to use those types of needles. Yeah, you, you can't do that to a baby. This is so elaborate. He cut the legs off of a dog. Fake feet and everything. <laughs> Photoshopping my friend and seeing what she says. Ah, you see the difference, right? This to the... There is no way she will not notice, right? Should I post that good picture of us when you come to Seoul? Lol, I look kind of weird in that pic. What do you mean? You look so good. That was the good one. You can post it if you wanted to. Okay, I'll post it early, like now. The shape of my jaw looks weird to me. You look normal to me. Quasimodo coming to Seoul soon. <laughs> Where he did her filthy. Tell me you're confident without telling me you confident. Like, uh, I know I look good. It's just a bad picture. Whatever. I can't relate, but... There's this TikTok prank where you can have a fake message show up. So she gave her mom her phone and the message that popped up. Did you tell your mom that you're pregnant, babe? And that we're keeping it? Thinking she was looking at a filter. Is this supposed to be doing something or do I just go? Like, oh. well, it... No, it's, it's like a bomb. Maybe <laughs> because you're um What? Who's pregnant? Oh my what? Uh it took her a hot second. Quick grab the shoe. My parents would have thought it was an ad. There mom's two minutes away from you i noticed this guy checking out my girlfriend so i decided to do this i bet you i can get a phone number no you can't pull that bro you you don't think i can pull that nope i bet you 100 bucks right now that i can get a phone number bro man. yeah you want to check check this that's out that's embarrassing man. that it's already his girlfriend yeah i'm gonna hit you up real soon okay let's get the phone number yeah no problem can i get a kiss yeah all right all right dang he sealed it off with a kiss damn get my money I'm playing for That's gotta be the easiest hundred dollar somebody has ever made. This guy was so confident, like, nah, you can't pull that. That dude punched in the air after watching this TikTok. This dude has a five dollar bill on the ground attached to a string so he can pull it at any time. And they were waiting for their first victim to pick it up. And he just, yoink, snatched it back. She did the walk of shame real quick, like, this wasn't worth it. So they were doing an elevator prank on this girl. She's the only one in the elevator. And then wait, a ton of people got in. And then it said the elevator is overloaded. Last person, get off. And they all turned to look at her. And she like, I wasn't the last person, but oh, they dead serious. They real serious right now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the next elevator. Can y'all move? Oh, we just doing a prank. They didn't even let her get off. I would have left immediately. Smell too musty in here for my liking. I get very nervous in a packed elevator. What if somebody farts? What if they shark? Messing with my clients. And I gotta make sure they got a sense of humor first. So this is how they get the tattoo ready. Okay, it's gonna go right here. That's good? Right there? Yeah! Put on the little stencil tattoo. They do temporary tattoos! And then do the real tattoo on it. Oh, it's Spongebob. <laughs> they do that your tattoo! At least he got the joke. I know there'd be a Karen somewhere like, That's not my tattoo! I want a refund! Also, refund me for my time! That you wasted pulling this little TikTok prank. 
moments earlier. They emptied out all of the candy out of these tubes. All the good old glizzy in a tube. You've got to try and pour as many in your mouth, or catch as many in your mouth, yeah. as possible like this. Ready? I never get sick of seeing these. <laughs> you are the one. You are making that a mess. That is the challenge. You Who's guys going are going to be that? blindfolded. Uh, <laughs> good. Uh, here he goes. Come on. Oh, you're, you're on the money here. Here he comes. So, okay, you blindfold and try to get as many as you can in your mouth. Wait. Where's the candy? No candy, only glancy. Oh, that. <laughs> it took a hot second for him to realize. Wait. Wait. Did you know this is fine? I love uncooked room temperature glizzy, especially down my throat. This is the combo y'all been asking for. So he got sharp scented spray, reverse for breeze, and a whoopee cushion. The double whammy. There are two people in there. Ah, oh, that is vile. They are wheezing. So they are literally on the floor, rolling around in agony. Are they okay? No, they just got a lung full of sharp for breeze. I would not be okay after that. We put scary pictures on our manager's backup camera. Is that Michael Jackson? Ah, you go into reverse and see this? No thanks. Y'all trying to get fired or something? We decided to prank our friend by giving him tacos with nothing in them to see if he'd they notice. They out everything except the moistness of the bean. And this dude just eating them like, what? What's wrong? He didn't notice. Like, yeah, it tastes good. My dude is just grateful to have some food. Like, what are you guys laughing at? These soggy tortillas slap. Like, joke's on you, I got free food out. Bye, bye. bye. Hello friends, it's me, and today we're going to be checking out some pranks. Happy birthday to you! Whoa! <laughs> what kind of cake was that? I was like, dang, that looks good. Perhaps a moose cake? I love what she cut into it. <laughs> One of the better five minute crafts hacks. By the way, that was your surprise. Grow? Did that bush really just grow some legs? It just <laughs> I didn't know photosynthesis could make you this powerful. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just gonna go back into my pot. Just a plant in practice. You know, it's all fun and games until Karen decides to make paper out of you. Do you sell mojitos? M O J I T O? Oh, mojito. Mojito. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, me too. What I also eat a mammy in? You mean edamame? Yeah, eat a mammy. How do they know what he meant instantly? Eat a mammy? You mean edamame? At Walmart, stupid is our specialty. Do you know where I can find the bologna? We say bologna, <laughs> but we don't pronounce the G. She took that personally. We say bologna. We, as in the people who descended from the bologna ancestry. Is that a person? Is that a person? No, it's a tree. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what was there, it still scared me. What do you mean it's a person? Who looks at a pile of leaves? Is that a person? No, it's perennial. Hey, Sumi. Hey, miss. Um, yes. I think you're really beautiful. Um, oh. Can I get your number? Well, I have a boyfriend. Oh, you got a boyfriend. Oh, well, when is the wedding? We're not. Oh, so it's not serious? He actually did it! Shot his shot and made it! You know, this was just supposed to be a prank. And then actually got her number. The way she looked at him like, I really just pulled that? Me? Oh, I guess I still got it. The things people do for a PS5. So Fake this invisible is how driver the prank. Custom looks. Oh, so that's no. how they do it. They're literally hiding behind Hello. the seat. What the heck is going on? So you're basically just dressed as a chair. Interesting. <laughs> I throw the food in there. Throw really? the food in there. They already paid. Are you serious? The car really be moving on its own. Oh snap. What just happened? Okay, if this wasn't a Tesla, it'd be a different story. I sent my Tesla through the drive-thru. Pick me up some McNuggies. Just throw it in here. I'm, I'm a ghost. <laughs> Do what he says. Thank you. Ghost eat too. I put a speaker in my friend's trunk and played honking sounds. Bro, are they seriously honking at me? I'm literally doing nothing wrong and I'm the only car. Like, what am I doing? It's a red light. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally three seconds away from just like. What's good? Kyle, Kyle, it's, good, it's a joke. Kyle, it's a joke. What? Are you honking? That would have driven me insane. I am obeying all of the traffic laws. What more do you want? Do you want me to go out this red light? I'll do it. No, I won't. Officer, the other cars are bullying me to commit crimes. 
He dressed up as a mannequin and left five dollars on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but he dressed normal with the mannequin clothes under him. You know, you put the mask on when you get in the store. Yo, so how you doing today? Hey, <laughs> dab me up. I like your shoes, bro. I'm trying to get some myself for Christmas. Ooh, five bucks. <laughs> Not convincing enough, because how do they know? So, I'm guessing y'all haven't done shoe huddle yet. Nah. It's one, it's one, it's one. Oh my god, you just scared me. I was going to pick it up and give it to somebody else. Don't be doing that. It's so scary. Oh, here comes Karen. Hey, buddy. The manager's here. Can you not? I need you to go ahead and go. Uh, what do you mean? I'm literally a mannequin. Hardline's four. Oh, I see. Oh, he brought security. Hmm. Well, well I'm sorry. where's the guy we're looking for? I don't see him. You're going to leave? I just see a mannequin right here. I don't know that is. Okay, cool. Alright, well. I'll give you about 20 seconds. How are you going to kick out a mannequin? He works there. So what's the name for that order? Uh, it's just Finn. Yep. Get my ass. <laughs> we'll call when he's ready. Okay, thank you. Order for a finger my ass? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really didn't realize until he said it. And I realized, so you want me to do what now? This guy doing a fake temperature prank to the people that walk into the store. Let me see your head. Hey, wait. Why, 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 you, gotta, why you gotta take a picture? Oh. I gotta <laughs> scam it. Okay. Why you gotta take you a looking picture? You looking good. You looking good. You healthy. All right. Your temperature's uh 39 plus tax. All right. I'm gonna come at me. All right, man. Yeah, it's a good day. Very healthy. He didn't even do a temperature. This is so chaotic. Let me see your head. Why? Why? Why you got? Why you got to take a picture? He put in a tag, and then he heard it. Why are you taking a picture? Sir, he's tagging you. Five ninety nine. That bald head expensive. Your temperature's uh 39 plus tax. All right, I'm gonna come at me. All right, man. He didn't even say nothing. Did you not hear what the man just said? 39 plus tax? Your temperature ain't the receipt. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. There's this trend where girls will call their boyfriend or their brother, be like, I paid for premium air. Or I paid $100 for washer fluid. Is it a good price? You know, those things should be free. They just charged me like only like 150 for fluid, like wipers or wiper fluid. So. That's actually like super cheap. I doubt it's gonna be way more expensive. Wait, what? What? You said 150 for what fluid? For the wiper fluid, like the water that comes out of the wipers. 150 is not bad. I thought it was gonna be like $300. 150 dollars. You know, I wonder if people have actually fell for this scam. Like, yeah, it's gonna be 150 dollars to change your wiper fluid, which usually should be free. No, we get our money back, right? Wait, we why? We trying to play you because you stupid. I mean, you a girl, my fault. <laughs> You girl, you stupid. You are stupid if you pay $150 for wiper fluid. I have a question. Mom and dad aren't answering because they're at this thing, but I'm at the mechanic and he is putting air in my tires and he's charging me $100 per tire for premium air. Is that a good price? <laughs> Premium air. You know, let me fill up these tires with premium air. For $100 per tire, better make me fly. I'm not talking about a little hover off the ground. No, we're going to the moon. He ain't even gonna answer her because it sounds so stupid. <laughs> no, that was a funny joke. He didn't fall for this one. This dude dropped some slime in the stall next to him. The way he slightly hey, moved bro, his foot. Hey, bro, me that? Right there. Um, I'm not gonna, gross. It's a five second rule, bro. <laughs> five second rule? Like it's food. He gonna pick it up and eat it. He gotta pick it up himself. If you're so concerned with the integrity of the snack, if you can call it that. Surprising my long distance boyfriend for his birthday disguised as an Amazon delivery person. So she gave him a package. Gave him a piece of paper that says sign here. And that's your sister recording in the car. Did he not even like notice? Hello. Hi. Nervously twirls <laughs> the package. <laughs> is he is he gonna say something? Is he gonna hug her?
that took a painfully long time before he realized, wow, it's my girlfriend. I feel like you should have recognized her immediately. It took a good hot moment. Copying people's exercises. This is so embarrassing. I would be so scared to do that, just go next to somebody and like start doing whatever they're doing. Cool guy though, he didn't say nothing. Woo, this dude come out with his bottom detached from the top. He walking himself on Bluetooth. <laughs> so I know this looks insane when you look at it this way, but there's actually a very logical explanation how he's doing it. From the front, he looks like this. And from the back, he looks like this. That's why he gotta walk all funny. He's just with a stuffed pair of pants that attach to his pants. We got another Target mannequin. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. <laughs> that one's real good. They even got a platform for him to stand on. Pour some good old one, two, three, go. Melt some chocolate. Dip it into some soap. And we'll bam. That looks very convincing. It's scary how convincing that looks. There's no ice cream in that. At least it's dairy free. Give it to the vegan teacher. Mmm, strawberry flavored soap. Nope. No one gonna be like, why this ice cream so hard? And tastes like squeaky clean. I told my friend my TV was a touch screen. Oh my. Bruh. And so he's scrolling through it. How much was it? How much like, dang, I never seen a touchscreen TV no like that. No way. Cool, right? It's not a touchscreen. He's just scrolling through it while his friend is touching it to make it look like a touchscreen. You know when you can't find what you're looking for in the store? It's when you start shopping from people's carts. Ooh, yes, sir. I was looking for this. Excuse me. Oh, huh? Huh? Are you going to really just grab something out of oh, my cart? Oh, no. These are bought already? Yes, these are this are cart. You got a receipt? What are you talking about? We're buying them. But I want to buy it also. Well, well then, then go, go down there. Don't take it out of somebody else's one. car. My legs are weak. <laughs> my legs are weak. You cannot expect me to walk across the store and grab my own when there is a perfectly good one right here. You know, you do got a point. Did you pay for it yet? No? Then shouldn't it be fair game? Square up over the last gingerbread house? I think so. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> What do you really think you're going with my chip, dude? What are you talking about? What do you mean you're talking about? Take it out of my cart. Are you sure this is your cart? I sure am. I sure am. My <laughs> coat and this is all my stuff. At least he was a good sport about it. I'm like Karen, like, yeah, you can't do that. Get your own. Thank you. You need help finding it, bro? No, I just, I found it now. I gonna say, because I can tell you where they're at. Oh, no, it's fine. You can go there yourself. <laughs> Appreciate it. You take it easy. like, ah, yes. You want it out of my cart? Go for it. Merry Christmas. I'm in a merry giving mood today. <laughs> Did that really just happen? You mean I was going to different aisles getting what I needed when I could have just been grabbing at people's carts the whole time? It's a free for all until you got a receipt. So I got to witness a prank war this morning and wanted to share. So Pepsi versus Pepsi truck. I thought y'all were friends. I thought y'all worked together. He went from one Pepsi truck to plastic wrap the other Pepsi truck. There can only be one Pepsi truck. Pepsi Battle Royale. Oh, you got something in your hair. Yeah, let me just. You got a little something. A whole plant? Did you know, did you know you knew this was on your hair? No. No, you did. You surely did, ma'am. <laughs> no, that I feel it. No, not. Oh, it yours? So why was it on your hair? It was just like, put look, it back. like put it back. No, that that's heavy. I I can't feel it. Your no, thing. no. Is it? Yeah. Are you magic? I'm a magician. Magic. Yeah, I'm a magician. So you done yeah. it? Whoop. Ah. Yeah, I'm a magician. I see this on television. <laughs> Poor grandma didn't see it coming. Grandma, plant spawns on your head. What don't you understand? If you can't explain something, it's magic. Oh, babe, come here, come here right now. I made a really bad mistake. What? Oh my God, what? Coming out. Oh, freak, what? baby, what is that? I made a bad mistake. Is that that throw up? Is that Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sick prank, bro, but like, I was on TikTok and look, look at this baby. Look at this baby. It has nothing to do with the prank, but look. Oh, babe, come here, come here right now. It just moved. The baby just saluted the really bad mistake was bringing that haunted fetus into your house 
Alright, you see this stool is not just any stool, right? It pops down. There's a section where it goes in. Okay, so he can sit on it. But it's like a soft spring. So what are we guys thinking for uh for dinner or whatever? Are you okay? I don't know. Ow. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> They're really inspecting it like did it go all the way in and make its way out? I'ma just sit on the couch. I ain't never trusting one of these stools again. Imagine losing your virginity to a stool. So this dude got rid of the whole entire bed, replaced it with a kiddie pool, even put the fitted sheet on it, the blanket. Oh no, it looks very convincing. Made a pool look just like a bed. It's even got water in it. So his girlfriend gets home. That's straight up disrespectful. <laughs> I don't know who wouldn't have fell for this. So she did an ice cream prank, pretending to be blind, eating her ice cream, making direct eye contact with other people at the McDonald's. Bro, this takes some big courage. And he thought she was making eye contact with him and get all excited, you know. Let me get a McNapkin to wipe this sweat. And then puts on her glasses, gets the cane, and then he's like, she's like, oh man, I thought this whole time she could see me. We were making eye contact. Have, like we had a moment like I really thought she was into me bro <laughs> Cappuccino no <laughs> She really thought the waiter was just like hey nice outfit <laughs> <Well, bam. laughs> But I came here for our coffee not some trauma this is next level messed up. This pilot, an actual pilot in a helicopter, pranks his passengers like, bro, I passed out. I'm alive, but I'm dead. And she starts panicking. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Like, this is it. Like, bro, wake up. You gotta land us. We're going down. He's like, nah. <laughs> Maybe taking it a tad bit too far. Like, imagine you on a plane and the pilot's like, Uh, yeah, we going down into the Pacific Ocean. Oh, don't worry, just a prank. Oh my god, Captain America, what are you doing with Thor's hammer? And this dude thought he could just like take it, try to pick it up. <laughs> How embarrassing. He's like, why is it so heavy? And he picks it up like it's nothing. And he's like, wow, better hit the gym when I go home. It's not even your hammer. Why, why are you even like trying to pick it up in the first place? Why don't you just give it back to Thor, you know, do the world a favor? I'm pretty sure there was like a magnet in there that made it like very hard to like, get it off the escalator. Water prank on my dad. Water prank? No, that's a piss prank. Okay, let's go. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> That was the real prank. You see what he did? He grabbed okay, the go. handle and just popped. <gasps> oh my god! The water didn't even do anything! And then after all that pain and suffering, you better drive home on a wet seat. The cherry on top. Go to Taco Bell and ask if they sell tacos there. Um, do you sell tacos here? I'm fine. Do you sell tacos here? Do we sell tacos? Is that what you said? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Water? You want the ice water? Yes, can you make sure the ice is cold? <laughs> okay, we'll come for ice. You know, hmm, I really wonder if Taco Bell got tacos. I'll let you know in three to five business days. This dude did a mirror prank. It took me a hot second to realize, like, that's his twin. There's, there's no mirror there. But still, I would have been like, wait, wait, what? What, what? It's like tripping me out. Like that dude just walked through the mirror. It's like brain don't register until mirror man makes a move. My parents are going to kill me. Take it in, Jäger. I'm kidding. The thing from the garage, they cut it out. Hit it in the closet. Bro, you can't be doing this. You can't be scaring people like this. The last thing somebody wanna walk home and see this, staring from the closet. Like, you gonna pay for my therapist? This dude's been going viral for making videos in this mask. As you can see, he's wearing a mask that looks like he doesn't have his mask on properly. Pretty genius, I know. So he walks into a car dealership. 
Uh huh. Sorry. Can you put your mask up? My, my mask. It's up. You have to put it over your nose. Sir, it's over my nose. Oh wow, that is too cool. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that's not his actual face? It's funny when people actually wear their mask like this. Hey Brenny, could you go take out the trash, please? Shut up, mom. Dad, we're just joking. We're, it's just a prank. <laughs> it's just a prank. It's a joke. It's okay. The way he stood up so quick triggered my fight or flight. Like, you can't be talking to your mom like that. Dad was up and ready to shut you up. Even if it was a prank, I would have ran. Knowing I was gonna have to dodge a flying shoe is a prank, but I still would have been scared. Like, I would have just, at the very least, flinched. Me trying to scare my boss. So she really did the mostest. Took the whole entire mannequin down and becomes the mannequin. Oh no. And it's like, they ain't gonna suspect the thing. We're so used to seeing it. Jesus! And we're so used to seeing a mannequin here. She's trying to get fired or get a raise. You sick and tired of your boyfriend playing your drums. Blow up a balloon. Surgically attach it via tape. Oh, well, bam. You got some nice juicy buns. Hey, Nikki, that you? Wait, he didn't do it this time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Forget, forget this prank. Cut the same haircut as Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> what is that? He said, where you going? Double cheeked up, literally. Well, he thought it was big, but it was just a balloon. So this girl took a picture of her and her bestie and made her forehead slightly larger. Oh, a little more than slight. We went for a four to six head. Uh, let's see if she notices. I found a cute pic of us. I want to post it tomorrow. Are you serious? What am I freaking mega mind? <laughs> huh? What's wrong with it? It's <laughs> screenshot. I didn't notice right away. I know what it looks like. This ain't it. Clearly knows what her forehead looks like. Hiding underneath my step bro's bed and scaring him. He asleep. She throw that shoe out? No. Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. What are you doing? Please come and play with me. I'm so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Yes. Like you can hear it coming out of your bed at the bottom. <laughs> you know, it's all fun and games until your ankle gets yanked. It's not my Achilles. This guy snuck into the back of his friend's car, chilling in the back seat. <coughs> Just wait for it. Hey, we for real have to go. So where are we going? <laughs> I ain't even in the car that scared me. Y'all don't sense a presence behind you? Y'all don't even check the mirror? Something about the same right, right? So they just sitting on the couch. He kissed her hand and then it's still there. The hand is still there. I would have been like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this whole time they were detachable. <laughs> try my drink. Finger edition. Dad, dad, try this. <laughs> Salty. Yeah, bro, test this flavor. <laughs> bro, that's a real sus. You just put your finger in my mouth. Yeah, bro, give this a try. It's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think we could be friends anymore. You can't just be putting a finger in the homie's mouth. This guy works at a gas station, and when you buy something, he puts it on a little spinny thing and spins it to you. And you have to go. And, and you gotta get it. What's going on, man? You gotta snatch it. <laughs> What's going on? What you doing? What you, what you mean? Doing? What you mean? What's, What's your problem? problem? You wanna grab it? Like, you bought this stuff, take it. You don't want it? Fine. <laughs> so she saw her boss at a gas station, got in her car. <laughs> oh, that's my boss. She filling up gas. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just hop right in. I would scream too. Y'all took this Christmas wrapping prank way too far. The entire room. The table, the chairs. Y'all got two sets of bunk beds? Why is this bedroom built like an orphanage? <laughs> Is that a sink? I got just as much time as I got wrapping paper. Merry Christmas. Found my friend's car, so I'm going to scare him. It's the wrong car! 
my dude really got into somebody's unlocked car and, and it wasn't his car. So is this like a reverse kidnapping? I don't know who's gonna be more terrified. The random person driving the car who you got into or the dude recording going to an unknown location. Do you just like wait until a stoplight and just be like, sir? Every time I get into my car at night, I always have to check the back seat. Like I am terrified of these shenanigans. Watch what this guy does. 500 IQ play right here. <laughs> he really threw his sandwich down like he was gonna do something. You try to throw hands in the middle of the candy aisle? That, that was just smooth. I would hit my head too. Like where did it come from? Just fell from the ceiling or something. Don't look at me, I got hurt Ooh. too. Since my little brother poured water on me, Going to take his PS4. Oh, you gonna upgrade it. Oh, you be doing him a favor. This means war. No, this means love. Besides the rhinestones on a controller grip. Ugh. I think it looks nice. You did him a favor. I've been seeing these TikToks where people will say something with their mask on. Excuse me, can I get your number? Can I get your number? My number? So what did you say? Say again, yeah. Rhinestone. Where's the cucumber? <laughs> Wait, what did you say about? Oh no. <laughs> I misunderstood, I'm so sorry. It's literally... You don't I mean, I wouldn't mind having your number, but... <laughs> it's just um, straight on the right. Oh, I was gonna say that was really smooth. Did you ask for my number? Where's the cucumber? Either way, what an awkward thing to ask. <laughs> my dude in the decor department asking for cucumbers. You, got, you guys are sexy. Where's the Pepsi? <laughs> Why'd you make that face? That was funny. Oh, Y'all wouldn't even dare repeat what he just said. <laughs> you sexy. Where's the Pepsi? <laughs> that was good. That was good. You okay? Um, do you watch porn? Sorry? Do you watch porn? Porn. What is it? Where's the popcorn? Popcorn. <laughs> He's like, what? We really try to get into my search history right now? I would feel horrible. Like, I misheard this man. Y'all didn't mishear anything. So she went on Omegle and she had her friend like pop up in the background like she didn't know what was going on. She's like, what? What are you talking about? There's somebody behind you. Oh, that is like a 10 out of 10 hiding spot right there. She could just like stick her head out and as soon as she turned around, she's like, what are you talking about? Ain't nobody in this room but me and my bed sheets. See? Look. I gotta try this. Smash like if you guys want me to try this. Messing around with my Arab dad. This my clothes. I like the cut, G. <laughs> Man, he grabbed her. Hey, you can't be messing with him like that. My daughter wearing my clothes. Did you go crazy? <laughs> Why can't y'all just like give us a thumbs up and go on about your day? <laughs> Hitting the brakes when she isn't expecting. <laughs> Yo, okay, you, yo. Is she like used to this or something? She gonna look back and smile at him. One of many reasons why you should probably wear your seatbelt. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. That's her little brother? She made a whole entire fake boyfriend out of her little brother. How'd she get this little dude and then just... <laughs> That is a whole entire man in her bed. Really get the group chat going. Everybody like, who is he? So she was bringing her parents tea. <laughs> and pretended to like drop the kettle. The oh. oh man, I would have had a mini heart attack. There was nothing in it the whole time. That would have been boiling hot water like. <laughs> I've been seeing a bunch of these where girls will send their boyfriends to get them a feminine product that doesn't actually exist. Oh no. Oh no. Why? We're leaving. Did you get it? Did I get it? Yeah, did you get it? Your itchy coochie wipes. <laughs> yeah, did you get it? No, I did not get them because they don't exist. <laughs> itchy coochie wipes. I don't even know how you could say that with a straight face like, um, boyfriend, can you get me some itchy coochie wipes? <laughs> Talk to a manager? Uh, they exist. Yes, I walked around every single feminine aisle there, <laughs> didn't find them, got an employee, she radioed the manager. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh. Say, can I get a can I get a check for someone in the feminine aisle? I don't know. Thing. Someone came and they said they don't exist. <laughs> the itchy coochie wipes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This girl also sent her husband to buy a product that didn't exist. Am I an idiot? Why are you an idiot? You sent me in there to get the Magic Fuen Fuen Fresh 2000. They looked at me like I was a crackhead. <laughs> no, what happened? The cashier was like, sorry, what? Yo, Tanisha, Tanisha, come and listen to what this idiot is saying. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Don't you know what the fwem fwem fwesh is? The air fwesh now? Make it smell fwem fwem fwesh. How y'all is man's falling for this? Spraying my daughter's butt prank. Ma! What? What are you doing? It says spray on flat surfaces. Oh! Right here. Spray on flat surfaces like it's gonna grow or something. I don't know how you're gonna let your mother get away with being this savage We all go to that plot twist fake head in a jar prank. Oh, I've done this before. I still have the head The mother opens What? <laughs> Just slam the fridge door. It can't hurt you no more. Don't leave me alone with grandma. I decided to dye her hair Blue Blue she looking like Grandma Smurf. The funny thing is though, we told her it was too Y'all can't be playing with Grandma <laughs> like she your toy. <laughs> so when she found out, this is how mad she was. Look, look, look at it. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> what do you say, Grandma? We have <laughs> She's so pure. We have to do something. Grandma done ran out of patience to beat your ass. It's my mom's birthday and I got her an iPhone 12 But let's add a little bit of spice I use my old box You wish and put like a rotten apple in there Put it in a Dior box And then gives it to her mom to open She's like wow she got me Dior Say no more Oh but it keeps going on But I blinked and we unwrapping a burrito now It's an iPhone yay Opens it up it's an apple yay she took a bite. Oh, humble queen right here. <laughs> you know, you children are the gift. So my girlfriend decides to prank me while I was at work. She dressed up in a disguise, wig, makeup, different outfit, and then came and asked me out. I have a question for our Hi, um, Sure. Okay. Um, do you wanna write it down or something? Sure. Oh. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recognize you. How do you not recognize your own girlfriend? I didn't know you could walk up to random people and be like, "Hey, can I get your number, like, to be friends?" Is that weird? Or am I just like hella antisocial? Like, my name is No. <laughs> what? Stop. Sorry, just had a brain freeze. Bro, you freaking scared me. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not a brain freeze. I know it's fake, but it's like imagine having a Caesar. Did I say Caesar? Like Caesar salad. And they just be like, Stop! You violated the law. How all the problems in the world can be solved. Country's going to war? Stop! Yo, it's just a joke, bro. It's just a joke. What's the problem? It's just a joke. My dude took his phone through no washing machine or something. The way it spun, my dude really got up like an NPC who has just been disturbed. And now he want to fight. <laughs> Calling my boyfriend by a different name prank. Do any of y'all just like straight up wrestle with your boyfriend? Cause that's... Who's Noah? What? You said Noah. Who's Noah? Why are you doing Imposter level 500, she's so good at convincing him. I don't know, Noah. You said no, who's Noah? I'm kidding. I'm Baby, kidding. No, I'm seriously, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a TikTok. He ain't buying it. <laughs> he was so gentle, like, who, who's Noah? But you said this. I don't know how 
at least people can be doing this without like laughing. Ruining the joke.